Ladies and gentlemen, could you please welcome now to the stage senior coach Matthew Nix. What an act to follow, hey? Love you, Tex. Uh, I've got good news for the, uh, um, yeah, for the women's footy side. Um, Courts and I have been engaged for eight years, so um, that you have agreed, Courts, we'll do it tonight. Um, <laughs> If there's a celebrant in, we'll, um, yeah, we'll all have a dance, eh? At the end, so that'll work well. What's that mean, Courts? Okay. Uh, look, just before I start, um, and I do have some stuff I'd like to, to get through, we've had some important uh, ceremonies, ceremonies that we've gone through this year as, as a group, um, and there is a couple of important things we need to do first. There are a couple of birthdays in the room, there's probably more than two, but Darcy Fogarty's 21 today. Um, Stephen Edgecombe, so Edgy. Edgy's, how old are you, Edgy? 59? Oh, sorry, 27? Uh, so what I'll do is I'll get those two boys to stand up and then I'm not sure how we begin this, uh, but Harry Schoenberg, are you in the room? Yeah, you got me, Nixie. <laughs> How's everyone going? <laughs> yes, so my name's Harry and my role this year is to sing happy birthday to all the boys. Get, up, get them up and about, so what way to do it tonight? So I'll stand up and I'll count you all in and we'll sing happy birthday to Fog and Edgy. So three, two, one, happy Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Yep, we were going to try that, that one a little earlier in the night, knowing that Harry was going to be involved, but we left, maybe left it a bit late, mate. Um, can play footy as well, which is, which is probably the more important part. Look, the, the reason why um, we've done that is uh, that's become part of what we do. Uh, it's one of our rituals, um, and it's a way we express our care for those around us. It's a way in which we demonstrate our prioritisation of others, and it's an important part of our fabric. It's club rituals and ceremonies and celebrations such as the one we enjoy tonight, which are critically important, and they provide the opportunity to give thanks to all the hard work and dedication that's gone in especially needed after what's been an extremely challenging year for the club and the community. Firstly, I'd like to thank the board uh, for their faith and support through a season like no other. In particular, I'd like to acknowledge our outgoing chairman, Rob Chapman, uh, for what's been an outstanding contribution to the club. Uh, Rob, congratulations on a, on a job well done and thank you for your support. Uh, in the short time I've been here. I won't be up here for long, but I do want to share a story with you. I, I don't suppose that any of you have ever heard of Cuthbert Holthouse. Well, Mr Holthouse was a student at Cambridge University in 1909. It's in Cam Cambridge University that the origins of the wooden spoon are thought to have arisen. At the University of Cambridge, an oversized wooden spoon was presented to the mathematics student who received the lowest grades. There, were tremendous, there was tremendous prestige for the person atop the list and embarrassment for the person at the bottom. On degree day, an oversized spoon was suspended above the presentation stage. When the graduate arose from their knees, the spoon was lowered to the ground and presented to the individual concerned. Quite a humbling experience, no doubt, for young Cuthbert, who was the last recipient of the wooden spoon in 1909. As it is for us, with our first metaphoric wooden spoon in 2020. 
Sloney spoke about this earlier in the week where he said, and I quote, we finished bottom for the first time in the club's history and that hurts. It will sting the playing group, but I also think it will light a fire to make sure it never happens again. Ultimately, we all decide for ourselves what constitutes, con constitutes failure. But in what is a win-loss business, 2020 could not be mistaken for anything other than a fail. Failure is a fact of life and it does not need to quell our optimism. Had we not failed, would we have learnt less about ourselves than we otherwise did? Would we have been able to test our relationships during adversity to see who it was that would rise above? Would we have the appreciation for our players' ability to acknowledge their reality, stick together and fight when their backs are against the wall? To show that they will help a teammate through fatigue of continuous disappointment rather than resting through it? Had we not failed, would we have the same level of gratitude for our people and their persistence and friendship? Had we not remained committed to the plan and built trust in it, but instead deviated to another plan, would we have the trust in the plan that we do now? Our lessons are sometimes painfully learnt. Life can be difficult, complicated and beyond total control. To have the humility to appreciate that enables us the ability to rise above the challenges that will, that will confront us going forward. We emerge wiser and stronger from setbacks with the strength of knowing we can prevail. We stand confidently in the knowledge that prioritising others is no hollow catchphrase or meaningless words on our walls. To that end, we know we have good people at our club. And it's to our people that I turn after what's been one hell of a year. We've been forced to say goodbye to far too many good people through season 2020 due to the impacts of COVID on the industry. I have great respect for the way in which our people held themselves, even when confronted with the reality that they would not be part of our continuing journey. A special thank you to our captain Sloaney and our other player leaders, Lynchy, Tommy, Smithers and Matty. Your, your development as leaders throughout the season has been a pleasure to observe and your support invaluable. I would also like to congratulate Rory Atkins, Rory Laird, Tom Lynch, Rory Sloan, Taylor Walker and Daniel Talia on their milestones. as well as our nine AFL debutants, which included a NAB Rising Star nominee in Lockie Shoal. We don't play this game for records, but it would be remiss of me not to call out Texan, who to now hold the all-time goal-kicking record for this club is an amazing achievement and shows how important you have been and will continue to be at this football club. So well done, mate. <laughs> to our departing and retiring players, Rory Atkins, Bryce Gibbs, Riley Knight, Paddy Wilson and Ace Taylor, thank you. I encourage you to stay connected as you'll always be part of the family. We're all challenged by the footy bubble protocols. And on behalf of our players and staff, we give thanks to our partners. Can sometimes go there. <coughs> our partners, our children, our families, uh, you've made a remarkable sacrifice and been incredible support. Um, 
I get the chance to thank Courts in person. Uh, he's been amazing this year. I know Courts, you're looking forward to the day and a half I have off in between 2020 and 2021 season. <laughs> we'll enjoy that at Victor Harbour for the next day and a half. <laughs> to all those who were acknowledged and awarded during the night, congratulations on your achievements. Footy clubs are made up of a lot of people. We have the most devoted and passionate members, corporate partners, coterie groups, and supporters in the competition. I've been blown away with your support of the club throughout this most difficult year. And we are so very grateful for your, for your belief and your commitment. My motivations for next season remain as they were 12 months ago. Let's be proud of what we do. Winning will always be important, but we must continue to embrace the path forward and whatever it throws at us. We must be prepared to fight, to trust in one another and put the interest or the interests of others ahead of our own. And through endurance, we will conquer. Thank you, have a good night.